Hey everybody, welcome to The Pagan Perspective. My name is Angel and I'm your Friday host. And today we're going to be talking about Hinduism and Paganism. Okay, so the question's basically Hinduism and yogi or yoga and paganism. Now, uh, the question also states, and I'll put the question down below uh, in its entirety, that there's not much opposition on the pagan side as um, when it, in regards to incorporating Hinduism into to the pagan paths and considering Hindus pagans. However, traditional Hindus have an issue being considered pagan. Um, now, obviously I'm a pagan, so I see it as we're a melting pot. We're organic, so we can pretty much incorporate anything into our path that is good for us and good for the universe, and it works. Now, I read an article today on uh, the Hindu path, and I didn't really know much about Hinduism because of um, it, it's not something I feel connected to. So I've I have done a little bit of research on some gods and goddesses in the past, but never really knew their ideology about the the bigger picture. Now, pagan, the the title or the the label pagan general terms, nowadays terms, is, is basically multiple gods and goddesses and people who follow um, or worship idols. Uh, now, not all pagans worship idols. Some people have um, god and goddess statues that they feel are the embodiment of the gods and goddesses. And some people have statues of the gods and goddesses they feel it are a sort of like a telephone to the gods and goddesses or to the universe and that's more where I toward, tend to le lean towards although whenever something happens to my statues I get a little freaked out <laughs> um, but anyways so I read this article that said that that Hindus their their bigger picture belief about the gods and goddesses is that they are features of one God. There is one God, the all, the one, and that the gods and goddesses are basically sort of like personality traits um, of that one God. So they really follow a, a path of sort of split. I mean, maybe that's why some uh, people who follow Hinduism don't have a problem being considered pagan, and some do, because multiple gods and goddesses, but they all filter into one source. So it, I can see how people in the article did say that Hinduism can be very confusing and I can see how that can be confusing, especially to people who follow very rigid Abrahamic religions because that's sort of not in their realm of understanding. Um, and I think for pagans who didn't grow up in Christianity, when they learn about Christianity, it's kind of outside their realm of understanding. So I think with Hinduism, it can be either or. And, um, but I can see why traditionalists have an issue with it. Um, but I also welcome Hinduism into the, under the pagan umbrella but I'm also pagan, so, um, as far as yogi or yoga, um, I do yoga, um, I'm horrible at it, but I still try to do it every day, and I do feel better when I do it, but yoga and, or yogi is basically meditations, it's, um, uh, you know, um, it's a lot of, uh, spiritual connection, it's connecting with the divine, and, um, that can be pagan, that can be Hindu, that can be anything, really. So, um, yeah, so that's it. That's, that's my tidbit. I don't really have a lot of experience or have anybody in my life that follows Hinduism, um, but I'm glad the question came up because it kind of enlightened me about how it works in that path a little bit. So thank you for, so much for that question. And, um, 
I think that's it. So until next time, I hope everybody has a great rest of the weekend and see you later. Bye.